PLC Programming Concepts Not Well Understood Part 1 PLC, Programmable Logic Controller, programming is a critical aspect of industrial automation, yet many individuals struggle to grasp its fundamental concepts. This guide will dive into the key principles of PLC programming that are, are often misunderstood, shedding light on these concepts and providing clarity for beginners and experienced professionals. By addressing common misconceptions and exploring the core principles of PLC programming, we will aim to demystify this essential aspect of industrial control systems. Whether you're new to PLC programming or looking to refine your understanding, this will serve as a valuable resource to deepen your knowledge and proficiency in this essential field. Sometimes I wish I had this knowledge before my first PLC program. Part 1 will discuss the PLC scan cycle and ladder logic. These are some common areas where people often struggle. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. PLC Concepts 1 Scan Cycle Understanding how the PLC program scans will help us program and troubleshoot the PLC. The most straightforward scan cycle of a PLC consists of four steps. Read inputs, execute programs, diagnostics and communication, and update outputs. Programmable logic controllers, PLCs, use a cyclic scan. This means that the PLC is not waiting for an input condition to change from one state to the other. It constantly looks at the condition of the input and makes a copy of that in memory. The time it takes to complete one scan is called scan time. Typical scan times range from 10 milliseconds to 10 microseconds. This translates from 0.01 to 0.0001 seconds per PLC scan. Once the PLC inputs are read, the program or programs are executed. The program will read the memory area for the inputs and set the memory areas for the outputs as it executes your instructions. Programs can be written in several different programming languages depending on the controller used. Standardization such as IEC has set five official PLC languages for programming. They are Structured Text (ST), Function Block Diagram (FBD), Sequential Function Chart (SFC). Instruction List, IL, and Ladder Diagram, LD. When the scan of your program is complete, the PLC will then handle the communication diagnostics. Internal diagnostics will ensure that the PLC continues to scan the logic with no errors are detected. These are system errors such as memory integrity and execution timing. Communication is for the external devices such as programming software, HMI, human machine interface, etc. The final step of the PLC scan is to update the outputs. Output internal memory is then copied to the physical outputs and the scan cycle begins again. Every PLC controller has this essential operation. However, some will have additional instructions to help you with your application if the input signal you are looking for is faster than the scan time of the cycle. This can be handled with PLC instructions to update the physical I.O. within the program scan or a separate processor operating input and output settings independently from the main PLC scan. This is usually referred to as a high-speed counter. Understanding the timing and order of operations is critical within the PLC controller. This will help you understand and correct unexpected behavior in time-sensitive applications. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. Keeping up with all the latest automation innovations can be difficult, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. PLC Concepts 2 Ladder Logic Ladder Logic LD is the most popular programming language for PLCs. It was written to mimic the mechanical relays in a panel that the programmer controller replaced. It has two vertical rails and a series of horizontal rungs between them. This looks like flowchart or ladder. Contacts or inputs are on the left side of the rung. If the conditions are true or on, this creates a flow turning on the outputs to the right side of the rung. Controllers usually execute the ladder logic program from left to right, top to bottom. The output of one rung is available for the next rung. 
The common misconception about ladder logic programming is the sequential evaluation of rungs and how specific conditions influence program flow. We know that the scan cycle of the PLC is cyclic. Inputs are scanned and put into an internal memory location. This means that the PLC program can manipulate this input table. The second rung of our sample program will set the input X0 as the output based on the X1 input. When we use the X0 as an input condition on rung 3, you will see that this is based on input X1. At the beginning of the ladder logic execution, X0 will turn on Y0. X1 input will now control the value of bit X0 in memory in rung 2. Rung 3 will control Y1 based on the input X0. You can see that basic ladder logic concepts seem simple at first, but understanding the program execution is essential for troubleshooting and programming in this language. If any of these topics are unclear, please ask for a deeper explanation or examples. We will break them down further. If you find specific PLC programming concepts challenging, let me know and I can help clarify them. To learn how to use the free Do More Designer programming software we use in this video, click here. To learn more about the actual PLC and its development, click here.